Typical morning routine. Uh, get on these faces. Make sure I got my my drills ready for the day for my indie. Um, make sure equipment is took care of. Make sure everybody got what they need, you know. And then as the guys start to roll through here, we get them going, get them on the hop, get their minds right. And then uh, next thing you know, we on the practice field. So it's just a whole bunch of organizational stuff when you first get here in the morning. Just making sure you're ready for the day. I fell in love with the game and fell in love with the grind at a young age, man. So it, it always came so natural to me. And um, just being successful at, at it and stuff like that always helps too. On time to me, is I gotta be at least a half hour early, half hour to 45 minutes early. So I'm typically, we usually start our coaches staff meeting at 6, so I'm here anywhere from uh, 5, 5 in the morning, uh, 5 to 5.15 in the morning. What made you want to start coach? Just always playing football at a young age, I mean since a young age, and um, you know, getting my degree in education, um, it was just something I always wanted to be around. It was something that, you know, if I ain't around the game, I don't know how I would, I don't know how I would feel. I don't know how I would get by every day. important places you're going to be besides with your position coach getting simple work. Weight room is where you make your biggest strides. So, you know, this is where you get really, really fast or really, really strong. You know, you got guys who are already fast and strong, but the weight room is where you just, where you, where you elevate and take yourself to a whole nother level. Um, the weight room is development. Weight room is mental and physical toughness. Um, Weight room is everything. Everything, everything, everything. I promise you, man. I promise you. And COVID testing, COVID testing, COVID testing. We gotta test three times a week, three times a week, just to make sure everybody negative and we good to play this game on Friday. Because you got somebody outside you. Kick off. All right. Real quick on kick off. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And know who you got. Leon, Liam, you're good over here. Are right, you good over here? Hey, Coach Walk. Yo. Wait, 
when he gives him this little shot here, you guys got he got to make sure he finds his, and you got to make sure you stay on yours. First and foremost, respecting the game. Because if you don't respect the game, man, like our like our head coach say, man, the football guys always find a way to, 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 to come back to you. All right, you can't cheat the football guys. Um, so that's that's the big thing for me, man, is just you're not on the field no more. As much as you may want to be on the field as a coach, you just can't be, you know. So you gotta you gotta hope that all that stuff rubs off on your players and that you're doing everything and all the correct things so that uh, your players can be successful as they can possibly be on and off the field. That relationship with your players. All right, so all my players, we talk about, we talk every week on the phone, through text. We talk minimum uh, once or twice a week, you know, how are your grades? How's home life? How's mom doing? How's dad doing? How's your grandma doing? Um, if they got some stuff going on, uh, in their life, hey, what can I do to help you? Their end goal is is what makes me uh, the most happiest as a coach. Like I go to every one of my players' graduation every year. I'm at graduation. Make sure I see them after graduation. See them walk across the stage. Make sure I take pictures with them because. Uh, you know, the education is the most important thing. So, um, seeing these dudes graduate and then play at a high level, and some of these dudes go to the NFL, some of these dudes uh, go make a million dollars, some of these dudes go make six figures. That's, 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 that's real, um, that's real important to me, man. It makes, it makes my heart warm. So I need a pick now. No, a pick. Oh, I got I need a pick now. Oh, so this is, uh, usually we, we inside on the turf or outside on the turf. We switched it up today. And uh, we're gonna be on, in the sand pit today. So this is my uh, kids session, all right? After my kids session, I have a high school session um, straight today. And while we're in the sand pit, straight footwork, hips, speed, and explosiveness. Right, that's what we're working today. All right, go, 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 inside out. Good, get out of it, good. Get inside out, good, inside out. Good, that other foot gotta move, Heath. That other foot gotta move, good. Burst. <laughs> It's a lot of talent in the area, man, and just trying to help develop everybody, man. Develop them and give them some, give them something that I didn't have and something that I think the city needs, man.
Pick him up, pick his feet up, pick his feet up, pick his feet up, pick his feet up. Now you gotta make the best of adversity, regardless, you know, and, it, and it's gotta be big. It's gotta be big that you make the, that you set the example for the student, the student athletes, for our players. So if they see me down and out about this corona stuff or whatever's happening in the world, they gonna get down and out. So I'm always upbeat, I'm always positive, always pushing them to get better. But if you can't control it, no reason to get mad over it, no reason getting frustrated over it. You control what you can control and everything else will take care of itself. Come on, come on, come on.